morning, Julia Grace. <laughs> Good morning. I'm having some flashbacks there, Lizzie. Yeah, she yeah. had really Good curly enough. hair, eh? That's what I remember. Yeah. And, and we had, yeah, and we had. You a, love that because you got curly hair. I did. So I was twelve years old. I remember that album was in the house, and I saw her with the hair, and she sang well. And I was like, "That's my kind of woman." That uh, see, representation <laughs> matters. It does indeed. <laughs> hey, uh, just take changing tack a little bit, but I, you know, actually, probably as much as we loved Jenny, you know, there would have been those that uh, perhaps she had some negative feedback. Anybody who's in the Anybody who's anybody anywhere in life, you have to deal with negative fe- feedback, don't you, Julia? You do. There is. It's always going to happen. And much as we love to think that it's not, um, unfortunately, I've, it's taken me a long time to realise that not everybody is going to like me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I don't sit well with that concept. But, um, yeah, it, it, it's par for the course. I'm betting being in a public forum yourself also um, that you've had your fair share of critiques. Oh, yes. Um, and, and, and often critiques that are not – people think they're being constructive, but yeah. it's not necessarily. Yeah. They just feel like they have the right to say whatever the heck they want. Um, So I'm not really talking so much about those today. I'm talking about those times when people um, give us feedback that may be merited or or maybe not, and it gets really stuck with us. Have you ever had a situation where somebody's given you um, negativity and it's really stuck? It's like you can't get rid of it. Yeah, no, I am definitely when I was younger. I mean, I don't know, somebody might say something today and I might get stuck too. And it sometimes yeah. it depends what kind of mood and frame of mind you're in, right? When you receive something yeah. like that, it feels like sometimes you might just brush it off, or sometimes you might go, "Oh, was there some validness to that?" Oh, actually, yes, there was. Um, for me, I, th- I think it is a lot to do with how I'm feeling at the time. <laughs> yeah, it, the context of who's saying it, uh, you know, when they're saying that, how you're feeling in the time. And um, I'll, I'll start with a little story. So many years ago, I released my second album, "Beautiful Survivor," which um, I do still absolutely love and I've had positive feedback from that album for years for decades now actually just people um, coming back and saying how much they appreciated it you know love that song changed my life all these wonderful things Um, but the first sort of swathe of reviews came through when I was actually in Australia I was touring I was on my own sitting in a hotel room um, opening my laptop and reading reviews and I read many many great reviews they came through saying wonderful things and then I opened one that was a shocker (laughs) and uh, there was a a woman had been given my album who probably shouldn't have been asked to review my work she had she was right out of my demographic she would have hated everything I stand for everything I believe in everything you know just not not my tribe not my people and so she had to sit through my album (laughs) <laughs> and she wrote, uh, in her first line, she said, Julia Grace sings like a kindergarten teacher. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, which Ouch. was, it gets worse, Lizzie, it gets worse. Now, there was a song on the album called Open Window, and she said the, the song Open Window was the only song that didn't make me want to throw myself out of one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, now, dear listener, now. I'm sure you can agree with me that we're cracking up now and I'm laughing now, but I bet you can imagine I wasn't laughing oh at the time. Oh my gosh, right? how that absolutely painful serious. that would have been. And like terrible. you say, you were on your own as well. I was. I was on my own. I was feeling a bit vulnerable. And um, I couldn't figure out, you know, that that has now it's stuck with me as a great story, but it stuck, really stuck with me for a long time in the middle there. And I. Having done work in mental health and and understanding more what's going on in the brain, I understand more about the fact that negative feedback gets stuck for a very good reason. So yeah. often we we get stuck and we think, oh, this is bad. I need to, you know, get it, get rid of it. And but actually, your brain is doing what it's supposed to do, which is keep you safe. And so it's highly alert to negative feedback because positive feedback ain't going to hurt you. No, it's like, oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, Lizzie likes my song, Santa likes my song, everybody likes my song, that's great. One person doesn't, suddenly I think, oh, what does this mean? Yeah. If they don't like it, maybe no one will like it. You know, maybe it's the end of my career. Maybe I need to give up now and we go into this this sort of spiral. And so understanding, first of all, that feeling tough when we get negative feedback is really normal. Yeah absolutely just part of your brain trying to keep you safe it's going to highlight that um and so i've got a few little things that i do when given 
um, you know, when things are tough or they get a bit sticky and they get, get stuck. And they are to feel it, to face it, and then to forget it. Oh, nice. With a little bit of inverted commas around the, around the forget it there. Yeah. So we'll start, we'll start with the feeler, right? So feeling it is actually, it's going to feel unpleasant. Anything that makes us feel a little bit unsafe, even if it comes from a very safe environment, is going to, in that moment, your body and brain is going to be a little bit like, oh, okay, what does this mean? Um, is it the end for me? So understanding, and I'm sure you can relate, that in that moment, it doesn't feel pleasant. No. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. I'm actually hanging on your every word because I can completely relate to this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that feeling is there, and I think feeling it is the first thing of going oh that's it that julia talked about that and 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 it's normal so what does it feel like it feels wobbly it feels unsettling um, we might get some physical response we might get that you know butterflies in our tummy you might need to rush to the bathroom might feel a bit sick and you're going to feel um quite confronted by the situation so that and, and understanding that that's normal I think is the first part of the situation. Second thing is going to be to face it. And I do think that sometimes this needs to be done in a supportive environment. Mm. So talking to, so what do I mean? I mean, maybe chatting with someone else, maybe sitting down and saying, look, Lizzie, this got said to me, it's really stuck with me. Um, you know, can you give me some context? Um, can you help me talk it out? Maybe we go, um, maybe we go and pray about that. Maybe we talk about it. Maybe we sit with it for a little bit. Maybe, there's some merit in what's been said mm. <laughs> and you mentioned before you know sometimes we've got to go well I could probably learn something from this it might not have been delivered very well but no. <laughs> <laughs> you know there might be some merit and there might be a learning so sometimes that thing of grasping and going what can I learn um, one of my friends when she gets bad feedback she does this thing where she goes surprise <laughs> and uh, it's good surprise what's in it for me you know what what can i find in here that's helpful so actually spending some time processing and not to minimize that process yep. but to say that facing it can be um putting into context or it could be taking it on board and finally at some level there's got to be a time where we shed that stuff let it go We've got to let it go. And so I use this to, to forget it is the whatever. So whatever. the whatever is a powerful tool where we put our hands into the W sort of sign. Looks like we're some kind of West Auckland gang member, but we put that W and we get the British accent and we say whatever. Whatever. Like a little bit whatever. whatever. I'm so, so in I'm into that. Of, you know, in the context, is this going to be affecting me in five years, 10 years, 15 years? Am I going to forget? Is it actually just going to turn into a really fun story? <laughs> um, and a little bit of, and so I call this Teflon front. A little bit of just shedding the Teflon, having a bit of a rinse and having a bit of a whatever and whatever. letting it kind of rinse off. And one of the ways to have a Teflon front is to have a Velcro back, which means you've got other people with you. Oh, so, you know, we've so got good. our faith with us, we've got God with us, we've got our friends with us, we've got our whanau, our family, we've got the people and, you know, other people with us who can be our sounding boards. And because they're with us, we're brave enough to kind of go, you know what, I'm going to give this a bit of a wash and a bit of a whatever. So we face it. We First of all, we're going to feel it, then we're going to face it, and then at some level, we're going to let that wash off. That and maybe, is brilliant. Maybe you get it. <laughs> what do you reckon? I love it. I'm, I've am i got my lovely, you'll love this. The listeners can't see this, but you can. My pink, mm -hmm. my pink diary. I'm going oh, to, yeah. I'm going to write it in the front and whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. All two, one, two, three, all together now. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Julia, thank you so much. Um, I love how you take life experiences and turn them into something really valuable for all of us to benefit from. And what was yeah. once something quite painful can become quite funny, but a, le a learning experience as well. So I appreciate having you on the show. Uh, if That's you want to follow, follow Julia, check her out on all the socials, Julia Grace. Catch up with you next time, my friend. Thanks, Lizzie. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click on like, subscribe and notifications. See you next time.